y'all. I was invited by Absolute Pandemonium to join in this collab on five unique ways, we or weird ways, I guess, that we save money. And so I'm going to link all the other participants down below. So check their videos out and let's see how weird we all are in saving money, I guess. I'm not weird. Okay, I'm a little weird. Before I tell you five unique ways that I save money, I'm going to tell you five unique ways. Okay, these are weird ways that I don't save money. And these are actual things that were recommended on the internet that people actually do. Number one, I don't take my used printer paper and recycle it into toilet paper. Ew. Number two, I don't steal condiments from fast food places. But that's probably because I don't eat in fast food places. Come on, a budget. No fast food for this girl. Number three, I don't steal money out of fountains. I mean, seriously, who does that? But I have always wondered, where does that money go? Does it go to the janitor who cleans the fountain? Or does it go to the owner of the property? Hmm. Number four. I don't reuse tin foil, saran wrap, paper towels. Yeah. No. I'm just a little bit lazy for that. That just seems like so much effort for so little gain. Number five. I don't steal flowers from graveyards or funeral homes to decorate my house. But that's probably because I don't have a house. I'm kidding. I wouldn't steal flowers. That's just wrong. 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 You don't want to piss off the dead. Oh, come on. They'll haunt you. Yeah. No, don't do that. So oh, the five ways I do save money. And yes, despite what you think, I actually do make a genuine effort to try and cut my spending where I can. So number one, I use Amazon Review Trader. This place is an awesome website that you go and you basically offer to buy something at a discounted price in exchange for a review. Now, I've always reviewed stuff because I use other people's reviews and so I think it's important to do them to help other people out. But I can buy something cheap or sometimes even free. I have bought so much on Amazon Review Trader that I was gonna buy anyway. And like the tripod I use to film this, I got for $5 at Amazon Review Trader. So I'll uh, link the Amazon Review Trader website down below. Go check it out, it's really awesome and it's super easy. If you're an Amazon addict like I am, it's a great way to save money. There is also a bunch of other websites that are similar to it and I'll post, there's a blog that somebody did. I'll leave, link the blog down below so you can go check out, there's like, 50 websites that you can do this. It's a fantastic way to save money. Number two, I keep a ton of super glue around. Um, I have one brand of super glue that I love because it doesn't get on your fingers. Absolutely hate super glue that gets on your fingers and makes your fingers stick together. Ugh, ugh. So um, I'll also put a link for that down below if you're interested. With the super glue, instead of throwing things away, I actually fix them. Yeah. I used to just throw things away and buy new, but now I break down, I fix stuff. It's awesome. And um, I'll fix anything. I'm currently in the process of using super glue to fix an umbrella for the table I'm sitting at because the, the top part broke off and so it doesn't work anymore. So I'm super gluing it all back together and I'm gonna use it as an umbrella. We'll see if it holds. Number three, virtual yard sales on Facebook. This is an excellent place to buy furniture. If you need a piece of furniture, if you're moving or you need something for your house or you know you break something, these, these are fantastic places. It's like the new eBay, back when eBay was like the cool kids place to buy used stuff. Well, now the Facebook virtual yard sales are the cool kids place to buy new stuff. So in that same vein, we actually also use these virtual yard sales to sell stuff. And the virtual yard sales are can be super, super, super specific. Like, for example, there's one whole Facebook page for Janie and Jack's kids clubs. So what I have done is I actually go on these sites and I was selling Melina's old clothes because we had lots of, of name brand clothes that Melina wore like once. So number four, during the summer, 
we actually grow a lot of our own fruits and vegetables. I started growing the fruits and vegetables as like a project to teach Melina. Melina is a super picky eater and she won't eat fruit and she won't, she'll eat a couple of things of fruit, but she won't eat any vegetables other than carrots. And so I thought maybe if I grew, if we grew the food together, that she would actually be interested in eating it. She's not, waste of time, but gives us lots of free fruits and vegetables. So this is only beneficial if you, if you don't spend a lot to buy these things. If you spend hundreds of dollars to buy seedlings and stuff, not gonna work for you. But we bought seed packets, and so a lot of them worked and a lot of them didn't. Uh, we had a little incident with, with our seed packets. We had three identical containers that we put the, seedling, the seeds in, and I labeled them with what I thought was a Sharpie. It wasn't a Sharpie, it was an erasable pen. So the first time we watered, all the labels fell off, and I couldn't remember what was what. So unfortunately, of the three plants that I did that to, only one survived, but I didn't know which one it was. So we planted it like we were supposed to, and um, it grew and grew and grew, and it took over the front yard. This is actually where, this is the plant about um, a month and a half ago. It's actually even bigger. The thing is, I didn't know. Is it cantaloupe, watermelon, pumpkin? I had no idea, because those were the three plants we planted. Well, the fruit started growing, and um, it turned out to be cantaloupe, and it it's fantastic and we have like 10,000 cantaloupes now yeah we eat a lot of cantaloupe in this house right now but we also have okra we have tomatoes we have beans we have lettuce we have the deer eat the less lettuce so don't bother with lettuce in this area because it gets eaten by the deer um what else do we have we have tomatillos we have about 10,000 varieties of hot peppers and number five this one is actually probably my favorite thing to do i buy clothes that are too big, that are super cheap, like really too big. Like I'm a size large and I buy like three X's and I'll take them down to Columbia when we go and I'll have them fitted to me. And then they are perfectly fit. So the thing about doing that is um, in Columbia, tailoring is super, super cheap. Mauricio went to Columbia about a year ago and I, had lost a lot of weight and I had all these clothes that I loved but none of them fit anymore so I gave him a list of my measurements and a couple of pieces of clothes that fit me perfectly and I sent him down with an entire extra suitcase full of clothes because while I was living in Bogota and Mexico I actually had a bunch of suits custom made for myself and I didn't want to get rid of those I had spent a lot of time trying to pick out fabrics and designing them and I really wanted to keep them so I sent them down with him. It cost us, I think, $40 to send the extra suitcase down. The entire suitcase was full of clothes. It was like close to 40 pounds. It was a lot of clothes. And he took them to three different locations. We totaled up how much it cost, and it was less than $60 to get all those clothes taken in. So here, it would cost me $20 to get a pair of pants in. There, it cost like 25 cents. Anyway, those are my five unique, not so weird ways that I save money. I hope they are beneficial to you. I know a couple of them not everybody knows about, so I'm hoping there's something in there that you can take out of it and maybe save some money yourself. So have a fantastic day. See ya. Please subscribe to my channel down below. I'm setting up a tag for um, 250 subscribers. So... I'm super excited to be doing that. So subscribe so I can do my tag, my first tag that I'm going to start. Yay, me.